Well, as promised, I said I would do Agatha all along because I do every single Marvel project. So I've reviewed episodes one and two and strap them on, folks, because here we go. All right. Episodes one and two down opening night. Checked it out. And, um, I mean, it's not as bad as the Acolyte or Echo. There's not a ton of plot holes yet. Now, there's a couple of weird things. You would 100% have to have followed everything that's happened up until this point. So you would have had to watch WandaVision. You would have had to watch, uh, <clears throat> Doctor Strange 2. You'd have to understand all the things that happened there. But I'd also assume that if you're watching Agatha all along, you did watch those other, you know, pieces of content so you would know what was going on. This does not feel connected in any way, shape, or form a Marvel show. And there's one very serious, very problematic <clears throat> issue with the show in general. Uh, but let's just check out some articles first. Agatha All Along promises to be the gayest project ever. Now, I think these guys were baited into this. I watched the interview, and it's the same guy. I, th I might not be the same guy, but basically they have the same approach as the people who were watching... Um, the same people who are watching The Acolyte. So they went up and they're like, uh, I, I don't think the showrun. It was it was uh, Amanda Stenberg and uh, the showrunner for the Acolyte, and they're like, "Oh, we heard this is gonna be the gayest Star Wars ever," and they both just laughed like, oh, "We never thought about it or whatever." So, and it it wasn't really that gay. And then Agatha all, all along, they they talked to Aubrey Plaza, and they're like, "Oh, this is gonna be the gayest Marvel thing ever." Ha 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 ha. And uh, I just don't think anybody, how are you going to answer that question? If somebody asks you like, is this the gayest thing you've ever done? I guess so. Like you're, you're an actor who knows. And they're, they've teased a gay explosion at the end. I don't know what that means either. Uh, but it, it, it's very bizarre. The first two episodes are very bizarre. It's not campy. I mean, I might have laughed once or twice, so I don't. I don't really know what what to make of this. The first episode, and I'm gonna have a little bit of spoilers here. It starts off as a detective show, and uh, she's not. She's Agnes. She's not Agatha, and yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, there, it's got many layers. And gay is one of them. Uh, Joe Locke, who plays a character called Teen. Uh, that's one of the great things about the show. Teen is a queer guy on the show, but it's not the driving force, which I think is really great. It's really nice to just have these positive queer characters. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I just... The pacing's a little slow. And I just... It's not for me, I guess... Like, who did you make this show for? Who is watching this show? It was a meme. You fell into the Morbius problem. You fell for the Morbius issue. Remember Morbius? The Morbius is... It's Morbid time. Great meme. Trick Sony into re-releasing the movie so it would bomb again. That's exactly what they... They're like, oh, people like Agatha. She's the funny song. Let's give her her own series. And that's the heart of the problem. The show follows Agatha. And, you know, most shows, the characters have an arc, right? Like, they start in one position and they end in a different position. Like, I'm a jerk, and I, but I have a heart of gold. Well, so far, Agatha has shown herself to be nothing but a jerk and craving power. And all the people that she's talking to, she's putting a, a, her crew together... And all they want is power. So you have nothing but people who are seeking power. Not for any particular reason other than they want to seek power. So 
I just, you know, and, and it's about witches, which isn't always like, you know, so far I don't hate it. I'm not going to say it's terrible. It's definitely better than the Acolyte. And there's definitely not like, like things that hit you in the face that you're like, that's just stupid <clears throat> so far. Uh, more than anything, the first episode was confusing. <clears throat> Although I did pick up a couple of... Like, I, I picked up what was going on early on. Uh, I will say you will be saddened by the fact that Aubrey Plaza is only in one episode so far out of the two. She's only in one, and she's one of the best parts of the show. <clears throat> so you're not going to get her in, a lot in that. But Agatha all along will have a gay... A, it will be a gay explosion by the end. Oh, look, here's the actual uh, interview. Perhaps I can play it. Let's see. I don't think it's commercial first. Um, they're, the cast are celebrating unprecedented LGBTQ represent. Where's the I and the A, huh? You forgetting that? I would agree with that. It's the gayest project Marvel's ever done. Here we go. Can we get the audio on this? I swear it's the same guy. Where's the Aubrey Plaza part? Okay, I, I I guess he doesn't say it here. But again, I mean, who cares? I, frankly, I, I don't care that much. It doesn't it doesn't bother me either way. It's not it's not here. It is here. It is. Let's see if I can find her saying it. Um. I just think it's a mistake though to go like what audience are you courting? Nobody. There's not a big enough audience for this. You're gonna get yourself canceled like the acolyte. And it just doesn't feel like a Marvel show. Doesn't feel it feels more like the Wizard of Oz, frankly, uh, from what I'm seeing. Because it's it it's, I would suspect there's there's something connection to the Wizard of Oz, and they'll come back at it later. Um, the cast is fine. I don't know. It's okay. The whole thing. <laughs> it just gets gayer and gayer as each episode goes on. And, oh, hold on. I mean, it's their words, not mine. Their words. Again, it's just kind of meh. You know, the show is, it's fine. I'll keep watching. I'm not going to, I'm not complaining about it as much as I did with Echo or, uh, I don't think there's that much lore to damage here. So it's all new and it's not, and that's where I think they're, they're, they're safe. Like who cares as a bunch of witches. I just don't think there's going to be a lot of interest in it. I think by the second episode, people will just be like, yeah, I'm not that interested. Cause the first two episodes didn't like hook me in a way where I'm like, I can't wait to see them go down the witch's road like whatever it's a show it's okay let me know if you guys watch it do you want me to continue to watch it even if it isn't torturing me ha 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 it didn't torture me this time 
Like I said, maybe it's a six out of ten. There's not a lot of cool special effects. There's not a lot going on. Seems like they did not spend a lot of money on this. Maybe on hair and makeup, but that's it. So I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We really appreciate it. But uh, I'm on to the next one. Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.